Hey folks, how's it going? This is Hellbent, the auto clicker guy, and today I have for you a free, simple auto clicker. Um, there's no download required, so before I go into how to get it, I'll just do a quick demo of it at work. And here we go. Okay, so I have my auto clicker already activated, and I am going to set a few things. Okay, so the first thing I want to check is a specific location so I have my cursor I'm gonna click where I want it to click and I'm gonna set a delay in milliseconds between each click I'm gonna set it so that way I determine how many clicks it's gonna do I'm gonna set it for let's go with a hundred a hundred clicks I'm gonna have it display a click uh, click counter and the first time I'm going to do it in the GUI and I am going to click start and as we can see it's clicking away and it clicked 100 times I'm going to do it again it'll go up to 200 and then stop I can reset the count and do it again okay next I'll do it with a tooltip rather than so now it's not going to count in here it's actually going to count with a tooltip right where it's clicking. So you can see it right over here. I'll reset the counter and do it again. I'll change the delay in between clicks to about a second. So this is in milliseconds. So a thousand milliseconds equals one second. And I will have it click ten times. I will reset the count and here we go. So it's clicking every second now, and it'll click up to 10 and then stop. Okay, and let's try this one more time. I'm going to change that to zero so there's no delay in between clicks, and I'll set this to 1,000. And I'll have it count on the GUI. I'll reset the count, and here we go. Now, if you don't... if um, you want it to click a little bit faster on the click counter setting just click none so that way it doesn't have to go through the process of uh, checking to see uh, if it's counting and just it'll update it so you can click none and then it'll click a lot faster but because I haven't interfaced with this GUI it's a little bit slower than that okay so next is so that's with clicking with a specific location now what if I want it to click wherever my cursor goes so all I have to do is click click at cursor I'll click it I'll change this down to 222 I'll put this on the tooltip and hit start and as you can see it's clicking wherever I move my cursor and then it stops once it's done I'll change it to the GUI reset the counter and it's as you can see it's clicking all right um let me see <clears throat> if i don't want to specify the number of clicks i can just hit forever and press start and it'll just keep going forever if i want to pause i just hit control plus z and if i hit the hotkeys button it'll bring up the list of the hotkeys so if i press control plus z it'll pause the auto clicker if i press control plus x it'll exit it likewise i can also hit just the x the X and it'll close it um, let me see anything else here that I need to go over pause at start it just means that when I start the auto clicker it'll uh, start paused and I appear to be lagged out so let me try this again okay so I'm gonna set amount I'm gonna have it paused at start click at cursor I'm going to have a count on the GUI. I'm going to have a delay of 11 milliseconds. And I'm going to have 222 clicks. I press start. It's paused to begin with. So I hit control Z to start it. And it starts. And that's it. If I turn that off, it'll just start right away. Okay, so now you want to know how to get a copy of this. <clears throat> First thing you need to know is that you need to have auto hotkey. If you don't have auto hotkey, just Google it and you'll come to this. Just click on their page 
and hit download and go to the installer. That's it for that. It takes about less than two minutes, even with a crappy internet connection. Um, after that, in the description of this video, there's going to be a link to a paste bin file, this specific paste bin file. All you're going to do is copy. Copy all of this, hit Control C, and then open up a blank notepad, paste it in, go to File, Save As, and pick whatever name you want it to be. So I'm going to be literal with that. Okay, so whatever name you want, and then at the end of it, you hit dot .ahk to make it an auto hotkey executable. Hit Save. And that's it. Now you just got to find out where you had saved it to. And let me see where I saved it to. Reactor incremental. Okay, so I need to go and... So currently it's saved here. So if I look here, I see this file with the H on it. All I have to do is either double click on it or I can right click on it and at the very top it'll say run script. I hit run script and it brings up this. Okay, um, if I don't want this to be on, like right now if I click on this page, if I click on the page it'll just stay there, but if I want it to disappear every time I click on the page, I just hit the always on top, click on what I want and it disappears. Okay, and then now it's back to being normal. Okay, so I think that's it. Uh, leave a like if you uh, enjoy this and uh, subscribe for more because I'll have more auto, auto clickers coming in the days or weeks to come. And I think that's it. Have a good day.